And I hear it, see on the news, there's been a hit on Iran. Iran's been hit. You see all them protests going down to Iran oh, right that's now? beautiful, ain't it? I think they got the CIA up in there or something that's causing yep, yep. chaos, dividing them. Yep, yep. That's beautiful, man. And not like the one in 209 would... Man, I was tripping then. But that shit was shut down with the quickness, man. The one that happened in 208, 08, or 09. Oh, this yeah, 08. Was much bigger, ain't yeah, it? Yeah, it's way bigger. It's much bigger, man. So that's how the CIA, that's how huh? they're going to send in... Well, oh, actually, yeah. that might be Israel's... Uh, I'm going to hold it for a minute. ...to hit on fire. Iran's nuclear reactors, man. Because you know that hit on their nuclear reactor is going to happen eventually, too. So this is what we wait for. Triple says, uh, uh, one war was passed. Behold, the third war cometh quickly. I know I'm paraphrasing. And you see Kim Jong-un came out and said he got the, the nuke uh, button on his desk. <laughs> he said he has a button on his desk. He yeah, just he hit got that you button. Control. <laughs> yeah. Here you go. This is Revelation 9 and 12. One woe is past. And behold, there come two woes more hereafter. That's not the one I want. That's close to it though, ain't it? Uh, Jeremiah, uh, Isaiah 65 and 12. Therefore, will I number you to the sword, and you shall all bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, you did not answer. When I spoke, you did not hear. But did evil before my eyes, and then chose to where I delight not. Chose choosing evil before the Lord's eyes is not listening to the men of the Lord. That's choosing evil and continuing your stupid ass fucking ways. Your foolish ass wicked ways. <laughs> Go on, man. Proverbs 1 and 26. I will also laugh at your calamity. Oh, I will I, I will mock when your fear comes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, you want me to keep going? <laughs> yeah, but it, the most high gonna be laughing at y'all. You see y'all because right now everybody laughing at us. You know what I mean? Like, look at these crazy. We look like fools. Yeah, we look like fools out here. Like, oh, I gotta put my garment on. Oh. Uh they no, they make fun of our garments and stuff. Yeah. And they be like, oh, you gonna freeze like a popsicle? But the most high gonna be roasting y'all, like, literally and figured. You know how you get roasted? That's the new word, yeah. right? Y'all literally gonna get roasted, and the most high gonna laugh at you. That's right. And we gonna laugh at y'all. Yeah. I mean, if you don't wake up to this truth right. and do this work, you know what I mean? Right. When you're coming up here to camp, dudes like, man, y'all gonna freeze to death, man. <laughs> you know, you know, in their minds, they, oh, them niggas are stupid, man. Them yeah. niggas are fools, man. And hey, that's that Romans 12. Right, Lord, this is part please, of the work, man. Yeah, oh, yeah, we no fools. <laughs> I guess we are. You mean because the temperature drops, that means there's no message? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? There's no, a message out here that needs no, to be told. No message. Because the time is urgent. <laughs> all you I see, they ain't. <laughs> Gonna be out here in the winter. They telling you to stay warm. Yeah, Bundle yeah. up. They make fun of. New Year's. <laughs> they make fun of us for uh, teaching in the winter, but when you come out, look, this the bus stop is full. What they call them brothers, man? They call them a somebody a snow name, man. They have a snow name called the Prophets, man. I'm, I'm not sure if they refer to the Cleveland Nick brothers, man. Ooh. Call them snow prophets or something. Oh yeah. Snow uh, something, that's why I said we're a pos a a posticles. <laughs> right. Right. Uh, hey, we snow yeah. angels. Uh, Proverbs 1 to 27, when your fear comes. Yeah, there you go. You I just said it, man. Snow angels. This is what you, we snow angels. You know what I'm saying? This is a lot of guys like to lay down and act like goddamn children. We snow angels. <laughs> man, this shit is old. Oh, shit. Uh, when your fear comes as a desolation. When your destruction comes, when you can't feed your baby, you know, when you can't feed yourself, when you can't get that drop of water, to, you know, to quench their thirst. <laughs> Uh, in your destruction comes of the world where, when distress and anger comes upon you. That's distress and anger. That's anger. When you can't get no water and drink it, man. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Because, you know, we, 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 we do that 24-hour fast, man. You know? And you know that 24-hour, I mean, I, you know, I, I'm so seasoned in fasting, man. I don't be looking at the clock, man. Let's cost the 24 hours up. I don't be running to the kitchen. Goom, 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 man. <laughs> I'm still... Patiently, man. Patiently, man. That's how a lot of Jake do it on Day of Atonement. Yeah, they just waiting. Can't wait. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you be fasting, you be like, let me see if I could go another keep, keep day. Going, yeah, <laughs> I did it plenty of time. I did it plenty of time. But you know, you gotta get that water, man. 
It, the water's delicious. That water's what gets you though. The food, no, not eating is easy. Yeah, that ain't shit. Not drinking, that's the rough part, you know? That ain't shit, man. Go ahead, now. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. Don't nobody like the sound of the baby crying. Okay, get my garbage. Even when I hear a movie, you're watching a movie and the baby crying, I turn the volume off, man. Yeah. I hate that. I hate that sound, man. I hate that sound. That's man. why the baby be crying. And hey, we hold this for a second. But that's the reward for these motherfuckers, man. They gonna get to hear their like baby shut that motherfucker Constantly. up. Constantly. So not listen to the baby reward. This is a trumpet we're blowing, man. You know, every what, every Wednesday at 12 o'clock, that motherfucking alarm going and off. It. I think it's Wednesday at 12. Yeah, yeah. And all across the city, that alarm going off. That's rehearsing for martial law, man. They don't even know what that alarm, that alarm is actually put in place because they know some crazy shit's going to yeah, happen. Right. I mean, that, that's not the alarm you, you want to, well, actually it is, but that's not the alarm you, you should be listening for. This is the trumpet we're blowing, that, this is the trumpet. You know, when that alarm go off that this white man has, when they go off, then that's just going to verify what we think, what we say. No, no. You got more of that? Uh, Whew. But like I said, man, the temperature dropped, so there's no message now. Uh, them niggas out there making a fucking fool of themselves, man. Hey, Jake still go go to work every day in the cold. Right. So Damn you right. gonna tell me right. the average person can wait on the bus in the freezing cold, walk to work in the freezing cold, yeah. Yeah. but you can't do the work of the Lord in the freezing cold. Right. You know what I right. mean? Right. Amos five. Amos three. Woo. It's not good, man. Amos three, and uh, I'm gonna uh, I'm, I'm read six and I'm skip to eight. It says, Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be an evil in the city? Well, first of all, shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? We blowing a trumpet, and just because it's cold doesn't mean shit stops. Uh, uh, North Korea, and Russia are still making their bombs, they're still doing a nuclear test. Uh, China, yesterday I think it was, they were just uh, testing a nuke. To, uh, to run under the radar and shit like that. They ain't stopped their shit. Shit, China running the low-key uh, military drills over next to Taiwan. I think they plan on going into, to, going into Taiwan. Oh, man. Taiwan's going down. Yeah, they're hey, crushed, man. I was reading on the Drudge Report this morning. It said that China's got uh, robots uh, manufacturing bombs at an accelerated pace. They said they got robots making bombs. So they getting ready. They getting yeah, ready, man. They getting they ready. ready man. No, they getting ready, man. Hey, Russia's getting ready. Russia just put all the whole military on alert. Said to uh, get all the uh, munitions, stockpile all the weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's beautiful, man. That's something to smile for, man. <laughs> man, it take, a, it take a minute to develop, because you know some brothers get weak. Oh, wow, that war, it ain't never coming. Oh, shoot. It should take time to develop, you know what I mean? Old, it's cold as hell over there in Russia, man. Those Russians, they still do them drills, man. They still be bunkering in, crawling through the snow and shit, man. You know? This shit's about to pop off, man. This is beautiful, man. Happy New Year, gentlemen. All right, my man. Yep. It says, Shall there be an evil in the city, and Yahweh have not done it? It said, I'm scared to. Oh, uh, the Lord did evil? Right, 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 right. right. The Bible. Because they'll say, right. God never, you know, right. God don't create evil. That's right. what they'll tell you. He creates just love, right? Yeah. Right, right. So, yeah, all this evil that's going to happen, it's going to be all through the Heavenly Father, man. And through the world, and, and through who the world calls Jesus. You know, they about to bring all hell on y'all, man, for not listening to the men of the Lord. You know? It says, Amos 3 and 8, <laughs> the lion have warred. Who will not fear? The Lord God has spoken. Who can but prophesy? Yeah, that lion roaring in the distance, man. You hear all, all the animals come to come to an alert. Like, like, whoa, whoa. What was that? Yeah. Yeah, right, right, right. And they be like, oh, you got to watch your ass. If y'all ever been to the zoo, man, hear that lion roar? Yeah. It's, it's, and at a distance, you're like next to it. At a distance, when that lion roar, that sound just carries on forever, man. And it's loud, it's, man, it's, it's terrifying, man. It's terrifying, man. Ain't no, oh, sorry, but yeah, the Lord is known as the Lion of the tribe of Judah. So the Lord God has spoken, who can but prophesy? So the Lord's still speaking through his, prof <coughs> his prophets. I mean, the, the, uh, what's it called? Prophecy of World War III, prophecy of uh, the chip. You should be excited. 
because that that brings in the kingdom. Ooh. So she, so who 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 can but prophesy? That's, That's right. why we still out here in the goddamn cold, right. still talking. That's because you know, season, season out of season. Yeah, yeah, I got it. I got Cause it. You, Cause you still got Jakes out here who don't even know about the microchip. Yeah. They don't. They don't know that the uh, that the government plan on microchipping everybody soon. Yeah. That's gonna happen soon. Yeah. So you gotta go out here and warn people about that. Yeah. Let them know. Cause if you take that chip, that if you take that microchip according to the scriptures, uh, the Lord gonna destroy you. And there's there's no forgiveness for that. And another thing, our people so dumb. These twelve tribes, they so dumb. They uh they celebrating the new year when they don't know according to the Bible it's gonna be destroyed. So That's right. why are we celebrating the new year? That's what he was saying, man. A lot of people don't know about the RFID chip. There's still a few motherfuckers that don't even know they're Israelites, man. Yeah, they don't know they're Israelites. They don't even know they're Israelites. Man, we asked your girl last week what her nationality is. She said bisexual. <laughs> right, right, right. It's like, I mean, that's why the Lord said go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel, man. So that's what we're doing. You know, we do it in the winter, too. I got one. Second Timothy uh, 2, verse 2. Second Timothy. Get Romans 12. 4 verse 2. Preach the word. Be instant. In season, out of season. Reprove, regroup, exalt with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Long suffering and doctrine. Right. But after their own lust shall they heap to themselves teachers having itchy ears. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. God damn, wait. Uh, uh, thank God the Coda bus here. <laughs> hey, that's that whole Christmas thing's a fable. They got the Santa Claus, Christmas trees, elves, all this bullshit. That's oh, a fable. I know y'all seen the uh, shit on what was that? Uh, it was on the, uh, one of the uh, one of the news class, and he was talking about uh, about Ooh. the uh, so-called white image of uh, Christ and the white image of Santa. They're like, why they put that? It was a white man talking about it. He's like, why they got that? Uh, why they ain't got a, like a black uh, person of like? Oh, CNN did the yeah. same thing. <laughs> so that, that's what they tell you. But they putting that image that they put this devil up to make him be powerful, yeah. be imperial. That's where the power lies, the secrecy, man. Yeah. The power lies, their, their, their power lies in those lies and the deceit. You so, know? Just think, if they really, but it was never going, it was scriptural anyway. Just think they had a, a black picture of Yahweh Shah, man. You know, this would be a different world, man. It'd be a whole different ball game. But it don't work like that, man. Most of I ain't, he's, what'd he say? He, uh, 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 step, uh, uh, yeah, because that guy, he don't fit no description in the scriptures. The description tell you what he looked like. Well, he looked like he saw that. Fucking he saw. You got that Romans 1? Stumbling block. Yes, yeah, a stumbling block. Romans 1. What'd I say? Yeah, Romans 12. That's what I meant. Romans Just 1. Just That's what I meant, Romans 12 and 1. Because this goes in what you was talking about. You ain't got your tripod? <laughs> Man, I'm having a bad day. I forgot my... I lost... I misplaced my car keys and my tripods in my car. Cause I ain't drove my car in two weeks cause it don't run, so. Like my car warmed up. <laughs> oh, they be locking up, don't they? Romans 12 and 1. Find you a fat bitch that got a car. What that say? Read that. Oh, that's a good idea. Read that. Fat bitch that got a car. I beseech you, therefore, brother, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, Ooh. holy and acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable service. Living sacrifice, man. It's a living sacrifice. Sacrifice yourself, come out here. Toes freezing off, fingers falling off, you know. Yeah. But it's a small thing, you know. Yeah. You know, compared compare to the heavenly, the gift that the heavenly Father have in store for us, man. This is a tiny thing. This, this ain't nothing. Yeah, it ain't nothing. It really you know, easy. Man, it ain't nothing. You man. don't see Jehovah knocking on the door one time. Right. If I don't, 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 we actually come out here. This is actually a fun thing to do, man. Come out here, sharing information. Yep. And what we do, we share the information with everybody, man. You know? Making YouTube videos, got a right, YouTube it's a, channel. It's beautiful, it's a fun thing. Uploading man. videos all the you time. Go through a dark ass temple with you feel me looking like <laughs> tales from the crypt. Right, right, <laughs> right, right, right. The scripture says the most high dwelleth not in temples made they with hands. Right. What's that mean? <laughs> Break it down for me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But where's y'all's church at? Right, check it out. That movie, man. That movie bad, man. A D uh uh, what's it called? AD, AD Kingdom and, Empires. and Empires, man. Mm. Paul came hard. Paul was like a, uh, he was like a. Uh, what's it called? AD Kingdom and Empire. Yeah. 
Was it where? Where's that? You say it's on it's Netflix. That, it's a twelve. It's a twelve part uh, series too. I ain't got Netflix. Paul was like a thrill seeker in the way, man. Remember when he first got the the spirit got on him, man? He was going to the synagogues, running out, laughing. Uh, shit. <laughs> is it a movie or a TV show? It's a twelve part series. Yeah. Twelve part series. It's bad, man. It's bad, man. I lost the point where I was going to uh, <laughs> He presented himself a living sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> living sacrifice. Right, right. That's what we out here being living sacrifice. Paul got stoned to death. Yeah. yeah. And came back. You see, Paul was, he was like, they, they described him like a, he was a, uh, like a mad man, man, teaching the word, man. You know? And hey, all the apostles, like, all the rest of apostles, like, you know, like, he looking at him like, you crazy. <laughs> you know? They looking at Paul like, yeah, we are crazy, man. Hey, you know, get that, get that, get that uh, Second devils, Corinthians. Passing laws and making laws, cursing them out for their goddamn wickedness. So yeah, we are a little crazy. Second Corinthians 10 or something like that. Uh, Second Corinthians or something, he said, uh, Paul said that people, uh, would, they said, I terrify you by my letters or something like that. Second, oh, Second Timothy. Uh, no, 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 Second Corinthians oh, 10. They, about, they were scared of Paul, man. Yeah, they, they knew him. He, hey, he's just like Samuel. You remember when we, Paul showed up? He's like, oh shit. <laughs> it's time to act right. Because you know, the Corinthians was crazy, bro. They, they was like the wild and crazy camp. You know what I mean? And Paul had it. That's why Paul wrote two letters to them Corinthians. Because they, they, them guys took a lot of work. You know what I mean? Because you just think they was, they was raised up in that. Uh, that Greek tradition, worship on them gods and all that. Right, right. It took them a minute to, you know, to fully come to the truth. And them letters is Corinthians, both of them are long. I think, no let me see where you at. Okay. Uh, set, Paul, set. It, was no, it was nothing to Paul though. He was a learned man, he was good, man. Yeah. Putting the, putting the word out there, man. You know, when he first came before the actual the truth hit him, man. The, the wicked ass scribes and Pharisees, they was excited to find him, man. You know, they were excited. He was, a, you know, they looking at him as a learned man and not realizing, man, they got, he didn't really have the spirit yet, man. They didn't see that. Yep. What you got? Second Corinthians, what's this? Uh, 10 verse 10. Uh, it's a lot. I'm going to start at 9. That I may not seem as I, if I would terrify you by letters. <laughs> what? Let me see, let me see, let me see what's up, but where's you that? Start off a little bit. Uh, 9. Oh, I think it's up more, ain't it? I right, just started eight. That's All good right. enough. Second Corinthians ten verse eight. For though I should boot boast somewhat more of our authority, which the Lord has given us as our edification, and not more discretion, I should not be ashamed that I may not seem as if I would terrify you by letters. For his letters say that they are. Rightly and powerful. Yeah, weighty and powerful. Weighty yeah, yeah. and powerful. Yeah, because hey, the, the Paul, in the New Te you know, Paul wrote over half the New Testament. And, and them scriptures are weighty and powerful. And he said he terrified them with them letters. Like you said, when Paul showed up, you know, like you say, he was crazy. Or, right, right. He, he was serious about the work. Yeah, you know, God. <laughs> uh, but his bo bodily precious is weak and his speech con contemptible. It says... Paul's speeches was contemptible. So people get mad at yo, got some nerve to be cussing with that Bible in your hand. <laughs> Paul's, the Bible said Paul's speech was contemptible. What is the word contempt? You get hold, if you speak out and say some crazy stuff in court, they gonna hold you in contempt. Cause you, cause you know what I mean? You should speak talking crazy. Lock your ass up. They'll lock your ass up. Paul was coming rough with it. You know what I mean? Go ahead. Uh. That probably was the point. You though. know what? Honestly, that's probably the reason why even a lot of these churches reject Paul, man. They do. They say, oh, Paul was a misogynist. Yeah. Oh, Paul. Oh, you reading out of Paul. Oh, they yeah. hate Paul, man. They it's do. Like Paul was a killer. Paul was going hard, bro. <laughs> he was right. Literally. Literally. He was not playing. Here you go. 2 Corinthians 11. And, you got more there? No. That was, that was it. 2 Corinthians 11 and 6. But though. I, no. Don't get coffee that fast. He's gone. I'm going to start at 1. Oh. 2 Corinthians 11 to 1, would to the most high he could bear with me a little in my father, and indeed bear with me. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as chaste virgins to Yahweh Shai. But I fear, lest by any means, as the serpent beguiled Eve through the subtlety, 
So your mind should be corrupt from the simplicity that is in Yahweh Shai. For if he that come and preaches another Yahweh Shai, whom we have not preached. <laughs> this guy right here. <laughs> this, this. Oh, Jesus loves you. That nigga, uh, that's the real nigga. Yeah, it really is. That's the real nigga. Preach another Yahweh Shai who yeah. we have not preached. Yeah, yeah, that's that. Oh, the, Jesus loved everybody. He came to save everybody. He he came to save the whole world, all nations. And yeah, that's one thing about that group, man. In, that, in these churches, the, the gospel is for everybody to them, man. Everybody, that's crazy. Man. That ain't even in the scriptures. Hell no. This shit is this is literally too special to get to an even, man. Hey, right. if it was for everybody, why did he say, "Don't cast your pearls before swine"? Right, right. Yeah, right. Right. Why would he just give everybody nations? Like, why would everybody have a nation? We just all one people then. Right. right. Why would he even say he came for Israel? <laughs> right. <laughs> why, right. What's the point? Right. Well, the so the Bible. See, that's the thing about the churches. They, 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 they are. They do everything opposite of what the scriptures say. The scriptures say he came for Israel, so that means he came for everybody. Script. Uh -huh. I was about to say, Job Osteen don't teach that though. He teach uh, the so-called fake Jews first gonna be saved and then the so-called other people now a lot of people teach that too <laughs> and here it is they here it is they anti-christ they deny the son yep, yep, and the yep, father yep, yep. but they getting choked they getting saved first <laughs> here you go revelation i'm going back to that this corinthians but to revelation 22 and 18 for i testify unto every man that heareth the words of the prophecies of this book if any man shall add unto these things, Ooh. the Most High shall add unto him the plagues that are written in this book. And if any man shall take away from the words of the book of this prophecy, the Most High shall take away his part out of the book of life and out of the holy city and from things which are written in this book. So, so you've playing with fire, literally like, when, when you when you not following the scriptures, talking about the Lord came to save all nations and Je Jesus loves everybody and all this bullshit following after your heart, man. You playing with fire. Pyromaniacs. Yeah, you pyromaniacs. You must you must want to go be in the lake of fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the truth ain't nothing to be uh, played with. You ain't lying. You know what I mean? That's one thing you can't like the pastors, man. That's it's like one thing you just can't. If you're gonna be in it, you gotta be in it. If not, Luke, all right. That's, yeah, there's that little warmth. Yeah, because a lot of these pastors, and, uh, so-called Christians, mainstream, they think they helping people, right? They all about love and yeah. they want to feed the homeless, and but they ain't give you no scriptures. They give you no truth, no precepts. They put a little uh, paper in there, John three sixteen, though. John three sixteen. Like John three sixteen. No prophesying. No <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no prophesying. Oh, you, you ain't gonna hear no prophesying because that requires destruction. They ain't gonna. Then that. <laughs> then they gonna tell people America's gonna be destroyed, no, no. and then America's Babylon. Oh. Did you see these assholes on YouTube? I was watching a video this morning, maybe uh, that Natsariah guy or whatever his name mm -hmm. is, talking about America's not Babylon. He's trying. These just clowns, man. Amazing. But yeah, the churches ain't teaching prophecy. They not, they not teaching you America's Babylon. They ain't teaching you nothing, bro. They, ain't they ain't definitely ain't gonna <laughs> teach you about that microchip. They gonna tell you it's okay to take the chip. Nobody. <laughs> How can you condemn? Everybody. Judge not, lest ye be judged. Yeah, they, they don't judge yeah, in the yeah. church, but they judge you though. That's his wife right there. 